Again, this question says y is directly proportional to the square of x. So to show proportional, uh, we use this sign here. It looks like a fish. And it says that it's proportional to the square of x. So that's going to be x squared. Now to get rid of that fish, or alpha, whatever you choose to call it, um, what we need to do is introduce a constant, which we call k, on the right-hand side, like so. And actually, a lot of students miss out that first step and just go straight to the second. y equals kx squared. OK, now um, that's our general formula. But we need to find out what k is. So we're going to go off to the side to find out what k is. And I'm going to put in the values of 50 for y and 5 for x. So 50 equals k times and then 5 squared. And let's put in my lines. So that's going to be 50 equals uh, 25k. Divide both sides by 25. And 2 equals k or k equals 2. So we found out what k is. So we go back to our formula. And we know that y equals 2x squared. OK, um, the reason we know that is because k is constant. It won't change. So if it's 2 for that situation, it's going to be 2 across the board. It says find the value of y when x is 4. So we're going to substitute 4 into it. So y equals 2 times 4 squared. Uh, 2 times 4 squared, so that's going to be uh, 2 times 16. 2 times 16 is 32, so y is going to be 32.